Angular provides a class named Control Group that's the foundation of a form model. Representing a form in code begins with an instance of Control Group. I'm going to dive right into some code and start using a Control Group. I'll be adding the form model code to the Order Sheet Component class in the Order Sheet .component.ts file. This class is already set up with a template file and a CSS file. First, I need to import the control group class from Angular. Control group is found in at Angular slash common. I'll add the import statement for that near the top of the file. Then you're going to want to make the control group, which will represent the form, available to the template. I can add a public class property to hold the control group. I'm going to name this order sheet form. You can name this whatever you like, but I prefer to be a bit more specific than a name like form. That way, if I end up needing to add another form to this component, I don't have to deal with a rename. I'm putting this property at the top of the class, following the same pattern that is documented in the style guide on the official Angular website. Remember, all of the code for the app will be created based on the patterns of that style guide, making it easy for you to have a point of reference at any time to go along with this course. So I have this property named order sheet form. I'm going to use a little TypeScript here to specify that it is of type control group by adding a colon followed by a space and the type after the property name, but before the semicolon. Doing the TypeScript thing here is optional, but by adding this, you will see most code editors that have TypeScript support start to light up with a bunch of autocomplete navigation and documentation that will make your development lives easier. Now there are two ways you can create a control group. You can instantiate a new instance of it using the control group class, or you can use a class that Angular exports named form builder that has some methods on it to create groups and even controls. I'm going to use the form builder here. Form builder is exported from at angular slash common, just like control group. So I'll add that to the import statement. To use the form builder, you can add it to the constructor parameters to have Angular's dependency injection provide it to the class. I'm going to use some TypeScript syntactic sugar here, putting the private access modifier keyword in front of the variable so that it will get created as a field on the class. And I'll add a private method in the class called underscore build form and put the build logic in there. This will not only help to keep a bunch of the logic from piling up in the constructor, but it will also give me a method I can call to handle resetting the form later. So I need to call this build form method from the constructor. And then down in the new method, I can set the order sheet form equal to the results of a call to the form builder.group method. The group method expects an object that has properties that represent controls in the group. I will cover those in the next video, so for now I'll just give this an empty object literal. Control groups are used for the base of the form model representation, but they are also used to logically group controls together. A control group will aggregate the values of the controls in it so its status will depend on the status of its children. You will see this in action in a later video when I cover creating a custom validator to work with a group of radio inputs.